only need to tell all of you that the right way to learn about something in detail is by doing it. In this room today, I great to mind that you think about the observation that all of us can see real problems, real world issues, but bringing back the basic science and kind of connecting them by having a problem with the first engineering how to fix the problem. And so what I designed, patented, was a device that can sample that, that part of the woman's anatomy more efficiently, hopefully, in a better fashion, than the next cancer. Uh, and I'm looking to solve the problem as to how to keep a kidney cold. It was to create a computer device platform for educational purposes developed by students for students. This is a highly intensive job, but not everyone on the team needs to be working on robots. This year's robot shop requires more complicated directions in order to overcome obstacles and say that at the same time. However, we both need an MCG because it is more simple than you You might want to take a look at the robots page to get some guidance and see what the team is done. Kat, as a pilot of Lego Elements, but like a digital designer. It's sort of like you design your robot on your own computer. Look forward to working with you to have a fun and challenging robotic track record this season. Thank you. Control left and right, and the third motor is usually used to control like an arm ring. Oh. Ah. Yeah, he's already built that part, so take that off. Oh my god. <laughs> For the robotics team competition of summer 2011, we are simulating the Moonbots competition, which is basically this field, we have to collect all the hoops on it, cross this bridge, get over the crater, and, oh yeah, stay here and thank you. And can anyone tell me the advantage of the like, two-wheel drive versus four-wheel drive? Um, yeah. Right. I think you can walk there, like, yeah. I think you can walk there, like, yeah. I think you can walk there, like, yeah. Um, we're going to need um, ultrasound sensors because ultrasound sensors basically tell us how far we are from an object. We can also, we're also going to use light sensors so we can track changes in light. We can use to track at the moon rock and such or ridges. Left foot is kind of like um, orbit around, zoom middle. Uh, this is the duplicate tool where you can du uh, duplicate this about anything. So if you're going to want to see it. the robot. Um, I, I have to cut it, and this is the exact model, and, and this is what are we going to use on the, on the robot. Okay, so what I'm trying to do right now is I'm trying to CAD the robot to make this look as close as I can to the robot so that we can have a computer-aided design of what our robot will look like. I took those photos out of that folder, so that photo is clean because you put them in there. This is the Hurricane Box website. I created it so that people that want to see our website know what we've been through. We have a, a blog, and every week we write our project. I'm Mohammed Hawk. I do the um, documentary and pictures and all that, and also the programming. Right now I'm on the robot design. I'm using this script to copy what's on what and put on Wigio right now. Oh, change your time sensor. Did you do this for every single thing? Uh, between large ones. Okay. During the summer, uh, we built and programmed a robot to be able to complete part of the Moonbot and with the help of the land team Landroids, who won in the past year. Basically, I was doing LDD. LDD is the most the designer, and in LDD we look like some pieces or a um, play with and like we look like and that's what I did. Being the hard thing about this summer was a privilege to have the people who are exercising the go marshals, the shout out to the players, the landlord, as our mentors to help us complete our mission. Also, 
remember, I mean, although my all those documentaries, my main goal was to take pictures and videos, I was still able to learn about programming, LED, and Hi, I'm Miriam. I'm the programmer for the Hurricane Box Robotics Team. What I liked most about programming was the fact that after you programmed and loaded the program onto the robot, you got to actually see what it was going to do. And you got to fix it if it was wrong, and if it was right, you got to jump up and down like a crazy person and say, Yay, it works! A moon bot is very fun. I really like it because uh, you get to make really cool robots, you get to program them, and, you, and they actually like do, do as you say. If, would I want to do something like this in the future? Yeah. Uh, I would want to talk to him in the future. It's really interesting and it's really fun. And it taught me like how much work you actually have to put into this in order to do well. It but takes just a little hard work to make this whole robot become more like real.